we forecast that Malaysia's economic growth will rebound to 7% uh, next year uh, from uh, negative 4.8% this year. This will be driven mainly uh, by the recovery in private consumption uh, as well as uh, growing business uh, spending. We are expecting for external demand to continue to provide uh, support for uh, Malaysia's um, exports. And then uh, the government will also provide uh, positive support to Malaysia economy given the expansionary budget that has been tabled recently. The business activity is expected to pick up. This is uh, benefiting from the increased domestic demand as well as um, growing trade, which will um, um, lead to improvement in employment. So we expect for unemployment uh, in 2021 to decline to 3.8% from 4.3% as a result of um, recovery in the labor market. We expect for the CPI inflation to increase to 2.2% next year from a negative 1% this year. One of the factors is the expiry of the um, government support. For example, um, the electricity subsidy that is um, provided this year will end by the end of this year. And then um, the higher commodity prices will also um, contribute to higher um, uh, higher inflation, um, particularly looking at the transport component. And then um, we have seen uh, all the while uh, over the past few months how uh, food price inflation has been contributing uh, positively to the overall uh, inflation. On ringgit outlook, we expect for uh, Malaysia ringgit to, to strengthen, uh, benefiting from the um, higher uh, oil prices, as well as um, there is um, expectation for demand, increased demand for emerging market currencies, um, including Malaysia ringgit, uh, given the low interest rates environment in the advanced market. On monetary policy, we expect Benegara to start rising OPR by 25 uh, basis points uh, towards the end of 2021. Um, we think that um, the recovery of the economy and the higher inflation will give room for uh, Benegara to start normalizing.